2002, Earl Strickland over Francisco Bustamante. Thank you. Rack 32. Would to break. I wouldn't want to have to live on one rack to decide the world world championship, Nick. Well, if he gets one good break here, it may come down to one rack. And he saw his grandmother with, his, with her hands clasped together. If she's offered up a prayer to the pool gods, it'll be give the boy a break. He's got two balls down, and look where that cue ball nailed itself. And he's and got the three, yes. but look at the oh, four yes. on the right hand side. The pink four has come to the aid of Quo. Possibilities though, you see where the sevens finished, the brown seven, if he can get that cue ball back towards the middle of the table, the chance of a billiard from the four to the brown seven. And that seven is, is hanging on the lip of that pocket as well. You'll just need to brush by it to put it down. Well, you know what he's thinking about right now? Remember all those miscues? Mm -hmm. He's got to settle himself. He'll want to cheat the pocket here. This looks pretty good. And now it's all about negotiating position to the pink four. The billiard to knock the seven into the side pocket. Boy, doesn't this shot look so easy from up here? There are people all around the world saying, well, what you gotta do is this, what you gotta do is that. But you put yourself in this young man's shoes. The world championship, you are two racks from the title, but knowing that one slip and it may be gone. Every shot, a pressure shot. Does he get the break he needs? He wants that to travel a bit more. Is that enough? Yeah, it's not bad, Nick. He can play this with a lot of bottom and right hand spin and swing that cue ball off the two cushions and back for the five. Should be no danger to avoid the nine here. Oh my goodness. So much pressure. It's intense out there, and I'm sure you could hear a pin drop in that arena. Another really awkward shot, and Wu, I think, doing the right thing. Can you imagine the adrenaline, the emotions swirling through his brain and body right now? He's just got to get it under control, and this fella is just sitting there saying, I've got to stay cool, because I may get another shot at this. right into the heart of the pocket. And you can see him willing that cue ball with his cue, his magic wand. And he is on the verge of orchestrating a comeback that they will be talking about for years to come if he can pull this one out of the fire. Well, it looks like he's gonna join Quo on the hill. If he can just nail three more balls, and what must he be thinking? He was breaking for the championship of the world, and he didn't close the deal. He's perfect on this six. going to watch one rack to decide the world title. It couldn't have been played out any better, could it? We're on the hill. Listen to the applause. Look at Grandma. You bet. Fully deserving. These two have served up a treat here tonight. Almost a shame there has to be a loser, Nick. Your heart is going to go out to whoever loses this one. Somehow, right from the start, this one was destined for this. Neither man was in top gear. Each of them made mistake after mistake. Rax handed over. So it's going to come down to this. A race to 17, 
16-16, and I only hope for one thing, Thank Jim, you. that one of these two fellas Play goes out and wins this, we'll that they don't break. lose it on a mistake. Well, you know, whichever one goes down to defeat here, they're going to be replaying countless shots, countless mistakes, where that one rack could have been overturned. The most Could important. You please turn that off? Can you believe that? The man is breaking at the last rack of the World Championship, and some fool has a telephone on. Most important break he'll hit in his life. He has two balls. That cue ball's flying around. And the three is there. The chance has arrived. Listen to the crowd. He hasn't won yet. Every nerve is tingling. Seven balls from the championship. <laughs> he's smiling, but I'll tell you what, Nick, I don't know how much angle he's got on this three, and that four does not pass top left. Look at him pacing and pacing. If he yeah. can just feather this cue ball with a little left hand spin off those two cushions and get back for the four to the left side pocket. You know what really looks ominous for Quo? I think Wu's enjoying this moment. What did we say in rack one when Jerry Forsyth was with us? This man is too young to know fear. If this goes, the championship may be his. He's got some work to do on the front yet. People in this auditorium can barely contain themselves. It's so close now. Well, they're going to be erupting in four balls time. 16-12. When Quo was breaking. Three. <laughs> On a practice table at home, he cleans up 99 times out of 100. <laughs> you don't choreograph moments like this. This is tremendous stuff. And it's agony in the other chair. And even Quo, understanding. The moment, the enormity of it all, and he's a part of it. It's not ideal. It's not. Is there one more turn of the page? It's not ideal. Where does the cue ball go? It looks pretty close to ideal to me, Jim White. The celebration can start. You are going to be crowning a 16-year-old world champion. Can you believe it? Quietly, please. He's asked for the ball to be clean. No, he hasn't. He's asked for the rest. I'm sure he's asked for this just to compose himself. One shot for the championship of the world.